Hello, everyone. I am Matteo, the head of marketing here at Pronto, and I'm joined again by Justin, our marketing communications manager, for our second and final part of the series on decoding AI and chat GPT in digital marketing. In uh, this second part of the webinar, we are going to provide you with some best practices that we've developed over the past few months on how to make the most of chat GPT, as well as more practical examples and applications of this tool for some of your most important digital marketing tasks, like web page outline creation, landing page optimization, and we're going to be showing you some useful chat GPT prompt templates for your digital marketing projects. Yeah, thanks, uh, Matteo, for that introduction. Um, and yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, over just a little bit of context for everybody viewing, um, uh, here at Fronto, um, our marketing team and other, other departments have been experimenting with, with chat GPT. And as a company, we've been trying to take note of our best practices. And we've also come aware of some limitations and some warnings. So yeah, let's jump right into it and go over them all. Um, one of the things with ChatGPT that we have to be really clear about is that it really is all about the prompts. Now, a prompt is just literally just telling the system, ChatGPT, what you want it to do. Um, and it, it might be obvious, um, a vague prompt is gonna give a very underwhelming answer. So the first point here is very important is that be specific and direct in your prompts. Um, there is a very big character limit um, in ChatGPT, um, and don't be afraid to be super specific about what you want it to do. Um, and that's including, um, you know, your desired format or style. If it is a blog post that you want it to be very conversational, you need to tell it to be conversational. Um, if you're serving an audience that um, prefers to take in information a, a certain way, um, maybe it's... Um, it's more informative or educational. Um, you need to uh, let the system know that this is what um, you want the output to be. Um, also providing examples. I mean, this is, this is a really big point here. Um, ChatGPT is able to analyze information that you give it. So if you have another case study or a blog post or a web page that you like, uh, maybe even be a competitor, um, don't be afraid to copy that text and paste it and let ChatGPT know that this is the desired format. This is a good example that we want to go off of. Um, and yeah, just maybe uh, just say this point again, just so important, avoid bag or ambiguous queries. Um, uh, ChatGPT can only do what you tell it to do. Um, so you need to be a good dance partner um, and Together, um, you and ChatGPT can, can do good work. Um, and yeah, there's, there's a lot of limits to ChatGPT and, and, and these are really important. And at Pronto, we're really finding, um, we're really finding uh, the limits and we're, we're trying to be beware of them as much as possible. Um, one thing um, is that it, it cannot access private data or internet databases in the free version um, anyway, uh, which means, uh, long story short, it only has access to information up until a certain date, which is actually um, in 2001. Um, so if you're looking for super relevant data, if you're looking for statistics that um, have been uh, gathered over the last couple of years, uh, in the free version, ChatGPT isn't able uh, to do that, but that doesn't mean that it isn't able uh, to help you write um, a lot of content or brainstorm a lot of ideas. Um, another thing too to remember is that although it can do amazing things, we, we can't get too carried away with, uh, with it. We have to understand that this is a machine that is does not understand or take in information the same way humans do. Um, if you are tasking um, a, an assistant, let's say, um, when you speak to them, 
uh, they have the overall context of everything around them, your business, who you are, all those things. Um, but ChatGPT is just a system and that, that's why we have to try to give it as much context as possible um, to try to get the best output. Um, but always remember that it, it's just not going to be able to understand the context exactly the same way uh, humans do. Um, so it, it cannot be that, you know, catch all virtual assistant just yet. Um, it is something that does take a little bit of massaging. Um, and uh, this is a really big point here. Um, it, it can generate inappropriate or incorrect information if not guided properly. Um, in the AI community, uh, they call this uh, hallucinations. And uh, essentially what this is, is that um, you ask ChatGPT to come up with something. Let's say um, you want to write your own name in, let's say, uh, tell me something a little bit about Joe Smith, um, you know, and it might come up with um, some completely made up information about um, yourself or a person that you reference. Um, so anything, um, any declarative statements that ChatGPT makes in terms of um, information, data, trends, anything like that, they must be fact checked um, because um, at times it, it can just be just pulled out of the air. So that is one thing at Pronto we're working really hard to, to do as we use it. Um, is to fact check everything and to make sure we're not sharing anything incorrect. And I think this falls in nicely to the next slide here, which is just responsible use of AI. Um, and I think this is something that us at Pronto and everybody um, in the business world has to kind of discover um, and, and know how to respect. Um, you know, of course, you want to ensure quality, but you also want to ensure integrity as well. Um, so again, just always review AI generated content. Um, it, it can't be said enough. Um, and the great thing is it, it is a very responsive system. Um, so, you know, if there is ever a time where you have to adjust, refine um, some of your, your outputs, you can just simply ask it to do that. If it's not something that um, you're quite okay with, something inappropriate or incorrect, you can tell it that um, and tell it to try again. Um, but the point is to just never copy and paste. This cannot be said enough. Um, I, I think as this technology gets rolled out further and further, I feel like there are gonna be a lot of people that fall into this trap. Us at Pronto, do not want to fall into this trap, and we urge um, everyone watching this uh, to, to not fall in that trap also. Um, okay, um, so we have chat GPT in action here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up chat GPT, and we're going to give you a little bit of a demo on how it works. Um, and we actually have some props, prompts pre-prepared uh, prompts that may be relevant uh, to some of you watching. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into it. All right, I'll uh, jump right into the first practical application, ChatGPT. And the first way we want to demonstrate how you can leverage it um, is to create a service page outline. Um, obviously, you want to have an outline before getting started in writing the actual content for the page. Uh, you kind of want to know uh, what the goal of the page is, is going to be about, uh, first and foremost. Uh, what are you actually trying to achieve with this, uh, with this page? Specifically, in this case, a service page. Are you trying to educate your visitors or are you trying to build credibility? Are you trying to establish um, your brand authority? or more simply just trying to generate leads, okay? So once you have this goal in mind, then uh, you can start using ChatGPT uh, for the outline uh, of your page. And then you can start uh, using uh, a prompt similar to the one uh, that we have here on the screen. Um, 
And so it can be simply as, um, you know, asking ChatGPT to assist you in creating an SEO optimized service page to showcase, uh, it could be any service that you're offering uh, for a specific uh, target market or target audience. Uh, so the more specific you are, uh, the more specific the output is going to be, obviously, just like Justin uh, mentioned before. So obviously you want to, in a way, when you're prompting chat GPT, you kind of want to already have an idea of what the output uh, is going to be. Uh, you're not going to generate the output yourself, but you want to know what, what output do, should chat GPT produce for you. And so the more uh, detail you provide it, the better uh, the quality of the output is going to be. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, thanks for that, Mateo. And I, and I think that's great. Um, I think what we want to do now is we want to actually show show you how this how this actually works. So uh, I'm going to kind of exit out of this um, presentation here. Um, and I actually have some prompts that are kind of preloaded here. So if you just bear with me for a moment, um, I'll get ready with the first one. And Okay, so here we go. This is ChatGPT for, for anybody that hasn't used it. Um, okay, so once you're in here, um, we're gonna be using ChatGPT 3.5, which is the free version, um, but I'm gonna copy and paste the prompt, which uh, is very similar to the one that Mateo had read on the slides. We're gonna use the service managed IT services uh, for these demos. And the target audience we're also going to keep consistent as well. And we're going to say that that target audience is law firms in Orange County. So again, just to recap, can you assist me by creating an SEO optimized service page to showcase our managed IT services for law firms in Orange County? Again, your task is to craft an effective outline that contains optimal headings and subheadings with relevant keywords. In addition, provide ideal title tags, meta description, target keyword and URL structure to make the web page more attractive to search engines and improve its reach. This is a really great part before I hit enter is that it can really help with SEO optimization and best practices that way. So let's press enter and see what it spits out. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that it's it's lightning fast. It's it's really amazing what it's able to spit out in a short amount of time. But but let's kind of go through this um, uh, line by line here. First, it, it has the title tag, which is important for SEO, uh, and the title tag is managed IT services for law firms in Orange County. That's exactly what we asked for. It gave a mock business name here, which is Reliable IT Solutions. This could be any business name, it could be your business name. Um, the meta description, also an SEO element is accounted for here. And the target keyword is manage IT services for law firms in Orange County. Now, again, we don't wanna just copy and paste all these things necessarily. Um, you might wanna do your SEO research to see if this is actually the optimized target keyword. But um, the, the first um, guess by ChatGPT, you'll find will be pretty close to what you're after. Um, and a suggested URL structure here as well. But let's get into the, to the meat of it here. Um, so here's the outline. Um, the outline's kind of broken up um, in, in different uh, headings here. Um, so there's an introduction, briefly introduce um, the IT services serving uh, law firms in Orange County and highlighting the benefits um, and reliable IT solutions. Again, the, uh, the mock business name for law firms. And it just has bullet points um, uh, of things that you would want to, as the business owner, kind of fill in when you're building out your pages. And they have proactive maintenance and support, data security and compliance, cloud solution, mobility and collaboration, disaster recovery and business continuity, consulting strategy, case studies, uh, and testimonials, 
what you'll see here is that ChatGPT, they did spit out um, some very typical managed IT services. Now, your company might have other specific services um, that's not included here. That's no problem at all. Um, it's just simply about just using the text box here to let it know that, well, actually, we provide uh, this service and that service. Can you please redo the outline to represent that? And it will give you something similar. Um, another thing that I want to show here as well is in not just the outlines that it can help create, it can also help create um, a good first draft based on the outline that it provides. So you have the outline here. Let's say you read it and let's say this is great and, and, and you like it. Simply here in, in the box below, you can write, please write a first draft. Okay, very easy, simple prompt here. And maybe there's more feedback that you want to, to put in, in this. Um, so that additional feedback uh, could be um, our Okay, um, again, the more detail, the better. Um, but so what I'm asking you here is just to take the outline and to write a first draft. Okay, we have the continue generating buddy here. Okay, so this is a very text heavy first draft here. Um, and the idea here is to not go through this in detail, but just to show you that it can give you something. But the best next step to take here and for any other project is to read this and to be super critical about what it spits out. Um, this first draft will not be what you want as a business owner in the end, but this is the jumping off point. You read it. You give feedback, maybe you want it formatted a different way, maybe it's too text heavy. The point is, tell ChatGPT what you want, how you want this improved, and just hit enter again and, and keep working it. Um, you know, like I've said to some of uh, my coworkers and others is that it really is a dance partner, so, so you do have to dance. Okay, and now next, um, we're gonna take a look at um, creating a blog outline um, for your business plus SEO uh, essential. As I mentioned before, ChatGPT can be a big help in, in uh, discovering good um, SEO elements um, with each of your pages. This includes blog posts as well. Um, so yeah, and what you can do here is again, give a very detailed prompt about what um, you want the blog post to be about. Um, and it can create a complete blog outline and it can extract keyword suggestions and SEO metadata. And we're also going to ask it to spark graphic and formatting ideas as well. Um, so you'll see on the side here, um, create a detailed uh, outline. Uh, for a blog post about the benefits of your product and service. Um, again, we're going to use managed IT services for your target audience. Again, this is going to be law firms in Orange County. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a similar exercise here and, and see how it works. So let's give it a shot here. Okay. So. Bear with me for a second here. Okay, so we're back into chat GPT here. We're gonna do a new chat here. 
uh, just to make sure that we don't muddy the waters um, and we, we keep it nice and clean. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that prompt that was in the presentation and we're just going to paste it here. Okay, so again, create a detailed blog outline uh, or a detailed outline for a blog post about the benefits of managed IT services for law firms in Orange County. Okay, let's see what it spits out here. Okay. All right. So a pretty lengthy outline here. Um, and yeah, so again, um, we have it, it in kind of headings up here, uh, one, two, and three. So introduction, overview, um, enhanced cybersecurity. So see, these are some of the services um, and some other benefits as well. Um, so a pretty good outline here, a lot of good points. Um, and again, um, when you're doing this for your business, you'll have a really good idea about what you're trying to say um, and, and what your business can do from a service standpoint. Um, so when you do this, go through this line by line. Um, and if you want to change something or you don't like something, um, you can just simply actually just copy and paste it right into the text. And you can kind of edit it according to your um, to your needs. And then, um, let's say um, you have a blog writer on staff, or you're feeling uh, inspired. You can take this outline and you can go to work on it. Um, but if you want ChatGPT to do again that first draft, that um, B1.0 draft, um, you can take what's above, and if you like it. You can, again, similarly, like we showed before, um, based on this outline, please write a first Okay, um, and again, um, it's really important to give as much feedback as possible based on what's above. Um, I'm not going to go through it one uh, line by line and, and see um, where it can be improved, but the, the point is to add to this, but this is to give you just an example of, of the, the type of draft that it can provide. And while this is... Um working, I think uh, an important uh, detail that would be worth mentioning also, you mentioned this before, Justin, is that you can specify what type of uh, tone this draft should be written uh, in. So depending on sort of the personality of your company, you can decide to write it in a conversational tone, in a more formal tone, uh, or whatever really suits your uh, your needs best. Uh, and you'll find that uh, the content, the, the meaning of the content won't really change much, but you know the, the construction of the sentences and the way uh, the text reads will will definitely change based on on the tone that you have desired uh, chat GPT to write uh, in. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. yeah and, and uh, it's good that you brought that up again. Um, but just because uh, by default, you'll notice with a lot of ChatGPT outputs, it does come out as very um, robotic um, if you're not specific about how you want it to sound. Um, so if we did read through this, this would be pretty vanilla in terms of personality um, and perhaps even long-winded. Um, I, I can see that this blog draft, it looks pretty long. If I had to eye it, I would say about maybe 700 words, uh, you know, maybe, maybe this is too long. Maybe you want to shorten it up a bit, but uh, just like Mateo said, and if you think that the tone could be improved, I mean, the feedback you could say is,
please make more conversational. On another thing too, and, and I just kind of added this at the end is and really focus on the unique benefits for law firms. I think with ChatGPT, um, even though we did specify already that we want to write this for law firms, um, sometimes it needs to be pushed or even reminded that we want to talk to this specific target audience. Um, so if it's not specific enough or you don't think you're gonna speak to your target audience, don't be afraid to give it that feedback, give it that extra push, tell it what, uh, what you want to do. Um, and one last thing I'll add here, just for demonstration purposes, you could also say this is too long. Let's say you want to have it only at 450 words. Okay, and again, this feedback that you give it it, it, it could be paragraphs long, it could be much longer than this, but let's see the adjustments here. Okay, so it does look a little bit shorter here. Um, and I think if we were to read through it, I think we would find that the, the conversation and the tone would be a little bit different here. Um, it would also be interesting to see um, if it did give more um, industry specific uh, benefits. Um, but even if you read this and this still wasn't to your liking, um, you could keep iterating, keep giving it feedback, keep giving it feedback. Um, and even when you're happy with what ChatGPT has after you iterate it many times, it's still important to have that human touch or to review it with people in your company to ensure that it still comes off as natural and it's still um, uh, a piece that, that, that sounds like it is human generated. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, that will be it for the blog post uh, portion, and we'll we'll move on to the next one. All right, thank you, Justin. Uh, in this next practical use case, uh, we'll look at how ChatGPT can be used to optimize existing landing pages or any other page uh, that you may have on your website. Uh, landing page landing pages uh, in particular can be optimized to increase conversion rate, for example. So for instance, if you have a landing page that, as I said, isn't converting as well as you'd like, uh, ChatGPT can help you with that. Uh, it can help you review uh, the, the text, the copy that you have on your page and give you ideas for improvements. Uh, the prompt that you, you, that you see here on this slide can help you achieve this. And Justin is gonna walk us through on how to use it effectively. Okay, yeah, so uh, just for just like for this one, just for the others, um, we're going to climb back into ChatGPT and we're going to get a, uh, a landing page suggestion um, or improvement. So let's exit out of here again. Um, I'm going to go back into ChatGPT. Okay, here, and I'm going to start a new chat just uh, just so we don't muddy the waters again and start fresh. Um, so I do have a prompt that I pre-wrote here. Um, so I am going to paste it in. And yeah, but so before we get the complete prompt, uh, I just want to go over it quickly. Um, so we're asking ChatGPT to provide compelling PPC optimized copy suggestions for a landing page that promotes managed IT services to law firms in Orange County. The purpose is to enhance the headlines, call to action, and highlight the essential benefits as well as a contact form. And um, this last part here, I just want to highlight um, because I think this is the really interesting part about ChatGPT and its capabilities. As I said, refer to the existing landing page text 
provided for inspiration. So this is where you're able to take your landing page text um, and just paste it in there. When you go to your page, you should do command A, or if you're a Windows user, uh, control A, and just copy it and paste it right in. So I do have some landing page text that I have taken uh, online, and I just want to paste it in here. Okay, and you can see that it's unformatted and it, it kind of might look ugly in the text box here, but it, it's uh, not to be worried uh, about uh, as long as it's, it's in the, the text box, ChatGPT will take it and understand it. Now, in doing exercises like this, you know, sometimes you're going to get outputs that are not quite exactly what you had imagined in terms of formatting. Um, but that's okay if the formatting isn't quite um, right or it's not what you imagined. You can work off of the first result and kind of revise it based uh, based on the result and, and get it closer to where you want it to be. So let's see what happens if we, uh, we press enter here. Okay. So what it gave us here is it looks like that ChatGPT gave us uh, an H1, a uh, top headline of something that would go at the top of the landing page. And then it broke it down to secondary paragraphs here um, that are further um, promoting the service. Now, the first, my first impression um, is that this isn't what I imagined in terms of a landing page outline or, or copy suggestions. That's totally okay. Um, if we were to read this, um, we, were to, we would be uh, okay to assume that uh, the right information is here. Um, so we can work with this. Um, so we can work with this by saying, just letting it know that it doesn't quite look like a landing page. And let's say the landing page you imagined, um, it has a clear H1. Okay, so a clear H1 is something that you want. And H2. a contact form CTA, uh, and let's say you want a breakdown of your full service offering. And you want some social proof, like maybe case studies or testimonials. Actually, this is a good place too. If you actually do have testimonials that you know you want to use, you can also paste it in here. Um, you can just copy and paste it underneath as, as a sub bullet. Um, and let's say you have another section for awards. Um, you could be specific about which ones you wanted as well. Um, and then at the very end, you have another um, another final CTA. So uh, this is by no means, um, you know, an optimized format. It, it's the optimized format is gonna depend on your business and your competitors and um, really what you're trying to do. But the idea is to kind of show how we can kind of work with it here. So let's see here. This doesn't look like a landing page. I imagine we need the following. Okay, so we're gonna give it one final sentence, one instruction. Please revise the above.
Okay. Format it exactly as I have outlined. Okay, let's see what it comes up with here. Okay, so I think right from from right away, I, th I think you'll kind of notice that this looks a little bit closer to a traditional landing page here. You have your H1, transform your firm's IT infrastructure with NIC, NIC would be the, the mock business name that I pulled out. You have your H2 um, and also a contact form as well. Um, and then um, you can uh, imagine this as above the fold and then it would kind of get into um, a little bit of the benefits, another CTA, some more benefits. Um, so you can see more structure here. Um, and it's given this structure because we are able to um, help it along, um, dance with it, if you will. Um, and when you're at this point, you, you'll probably realize that you'll still want some more iterations or some more changes. Um, but the idea is to just keep giving it feedback and getting closer to, to where you want to go. So um, I, I actually really appreciate that we were able to go through this exercise and get a result that wasn't quite right. So we could show you how to work with it and get, um, get a result that's closer to what you're looking for. Okay, well, I hope you found those practical use cases helpful. Um, we wanted them to uh, show the power of the system, but also show some of the limitations and the need to kind of work um, with the technology. Um, what we have here um, is just a GIF of a blog post that we wrote recently. Um, and all the prompts that we went over today in these practical use cases are included in this blog post. And there's a few more also. Um, if you are interested in reading this blog or going to it, um, you can click the link in the description. Um, or if you're receiving this by email, the link will be in email as well. Um, it's a really good piece, um, and we urge you to read it. Okay. Um, so how can Pronto help you with all of this? So if you have decided to give ChatGPT a go and you want to start generating ideas for new pages or existing content that's already on your website, um, and you just want to optimize it, uh, you can make the most of this new exciting technology together with Pronto's website support service. Um, you just simply want to submit a support request together with your instructions on, you know, or for the pages that you want to create or optimize, and our support team will uh, make the best, uh, their best to publish your AI-assisted content on your website. If you're not a Pronto client and want to find out more about our support services and take advantage of our experienced WordPress support team, feel free to schedule a consultation with us today. Uh, we'll leave a link to our consultation page in the description or in the email that comes along with this video, uh, and we can chat about our website support services with you. So that's it for part two. If you have any questions about anything we've covered today, feel free to email me or Justin directly and we'll be happy to help you out. All right, thank you everyone.